What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So a couple of videos ago, we did the Sony ZV-1 wireless microphone test. We repaired the ZV-1 up with the Yolongo, the Fulcher, and the Mayono wireless microphone system. And we did an indoor and outdoor audio test. And in that video, I told you guys that I prefer a shotgun microphone when I'm doing anything like running gun style vlogging. So what I have right here in front of me is my Boya BYMM-1 shotgun microphone that I've been rocking with for the past couple of years. And I figured today would be a great day since I haven't given you guys an audio test with this shotgun style microphone on the Sony ZV-1. I felt like today would be a great day to do an indoor and outdoor test with this microphone in comparison to the internal audio on the Sony ZV-1. Let's get to it. Okay, so real quick, the audio that you're listening to right now is coming from my Yeti. Uh, just so you know, I am not using the internal audio on the ZV-1. My Yeti is just right out of frame, but I'm using my actual blue Yeti uh, as far as audio is concerned right now. But I will disconnect my Yeti here at some point and go with the whole internal audio of the Sony ZV-1 when we get into this audio test. But what I want to do real quick is show you what everything, well, what it comes with as far as the BYMM-1, everything that it comes with uh, if you were to purchase this uh, actual shotgun mic. Now, right now it's going on Amazon for about 29 bucks is what I saw earlier today when I took a look at it. And it still comes with the exact same things that you see here. So you get your little bag, carrying bag right here. You get your TRS and TRRS cables. You get the actual microphone itself right here. And you also get a shock mount. And it also comes with a wind muff right here that has some Boya uh, branding on it right there. Uh, one other quick thing too, is that if you wanted to connect this to your iPhone, you will need a cable uh, like this. You will need the 3.5 uh, to Lightning in order to connect this to your iPhone. So I just wanted to make sure I throw that out there, but this doesn't come with it. You gotta buy this separate. So uh, real quick, this is how you just kind of assemble this thing. You just take this, uh, put your shock mount on it, just like that. Uh, since we're gonna be using it with the ZV-1, we'll use the camera cable. So basically you will plug this piece right here into the back. And then this right here says camera on it. You will plug this into the Sony ZV-1 and you will just take your wind muff and that's it. Slide it on just like that and you are good to go. Mount it on your ZV-1 and you are good to go. So that's just a quick little, you know, uh, showing you guys everything that it comes with and uh, how quick and easy it is to just kind of put together. Uh, and that really is, uh, that really is about it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and take off uh, disconnect my Yeti from the ZV-1 and then we'll start with an indoor test of the Sony ZV-1's audio and then we'll put on the Boya BYMM-1, do an indoor test and then we'll go outside as well and do an outdoor test without the shotgun mic with all internal ZV-1 audio and then we'll put the a shotgun mic on and do a uh, audio test outside as well. So let's get to it. All right, you guys, so this is the actual audio quality coming from the Sony ZV-1. Strictly onboard audio, I have the level in the ZV-1 set to 21, if I'm not mistaken. It's set to 21 or 22, just forgot that quick, but it's 21 or 22, and I don't have the wind muff on it because I'm actually uh, indoors. I have my BY-MM-1 right here, so you can see that I'm not, I don't have it plugged in. I don't have anything plugged in. This is all internal audio. I haven't even heard it, but just looking at the audio meter, because I can see it right above me, looking at the audio meter, I am sitting right at a little bit touching the uh, yellow. So I'm just barely out of the green. So hopefully it's picking up my voice really, really well. I won't do any post-processing or anything to this audio. I will leave it as is, just like this, so you guys can hear it coming straight from the Sony ZV-1. And since this is not going to be a quick video, let's go ahead and switch over to the Boya BYMM-1 right now. All right, you guys, so this is the audio quality coming from the Boya BYMM-1. I have my audio set to a level 10 in the Sony ZV-1. It is sitting directly in front of me probably about an arm's length and a little bit away from me, but this is what it's gonna sound like. I think the audio quality on this microphone has always been great. I haven't felt the need to upgrade from this microphone in general. That's the reason why I still have it to this date. So this is the audio quality that you can expect from it. No post-processing. I will leave it exactly as it is. And looking at the audio meter, I am sitting at about right in the yellow. So hopefully it sounds great. And like I said, since this video won't be long, we'll go ahead and move outside. All right, guys, so this is the audio quality that you can expect coming from the Sony ZV-1 internal with the little wind muff on top. Internal, we're outside. The level on the ZV-1 is set to 26. I think that's how it comes out of the box, 26 if I'm not mistaken. Got a little bit of ambiance. Well, ambiance out here. Got some dogs barking. It's kind of nippy out here too. A very light breeze, and it is overcast because it has been raining uh, here 
you know, for a couple days and it's going to continue to rain. Uh, but this is the audio quality that you can expect coming from the uh, Sony ZV-1 internally with the little wind muff on. So if you guys give me a couple of seconds, I'm going to switch over to the uh, Boya real quick so that we can get that quick audio test so you guys can compare the audio. Be right back. Okay, y'all, so I have switched over to the Boya BY-MM1 shotgun microphone. I do have the wind muff on and I do have the level in the ZV-1 set to about 15 just because I didn't want it to be peaking. Uh, I think 26 would have probably made it peak. I'm not 100% sure, but I just feel like with a shotgun mic that can pick up, you know, a little bit better audio than the internal, I don't want to push it too high. So I put it at 15. Hopefully this sounds good. The only thing I may do if this 15 isn't too high is uh, turn the volume up in post, but I will put that on the screen if I turn the volume up in post. Uh, but it's at 15 right now, and I think it looks pretty good looking at the little audio meter. It's not peaking or anything, so hopefully it sounds pretty good. I think about one arm's distance away. Overcast, breeze, I see trees a little bit of, the trees is kind of moving. So it is a little bit of, you know, wind blowing. Uh, let me see if you guys can hear any wind. Excuse my backyard. I was out here uh, doing a little work in it earlier. It's almost time for it, uh, the grass to come out of the dormancy stage and turn back green. So I got to get ready to put it all back together and fix it back. But anyway, this is the audio quality from the Sony ZV-1 with the Boya BYMM1 shotgun microphone. So let me know what you guys think of this audio quality and uh, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if the internal audio sounds better or if the BY mm1 shotgun mic sounds better now if you did find this video to be helpful don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that like button so that the youtube algorithm can be nice to this video and it's been your man jay and i'll see y'all in the next video all right peace